Compassion is the radicalism of our time. We need to learn to want what we have, not to have what we want, in order to get a stable and steady happiness. You may have seen these quotes on an inspirational poster before, but they are none other than the words of the 14th Dalai Lama. Although he is one of the wisest people of our time, he has faced numerous hardships due to the greed of others, and yet still remains a positive influence on the public. A Dalai Lama is the head monk of Tibetan Buddhism. Traditionally, their purpose is to govern Tibet and is the re reincarnation of the previous Lama. According to a 2014 BBC article, the reincarnation is decided by the higher-up monks who identify a child born around the same time as the past one died. He is found through a dream, watching the smoke of the cremation and searching accordingly, or vision seen at the Oracle Lake. As a Nobel Peace Prize winner, escapee from the Chinese government, and a famous spiritual leader, the 14th Dalai Lama has had a very significant life. A boy named Lama Thondop was born in Tibet on July 6, 1935. After the previous Lama had died, a search party was sent out and recognized the boy as a new holiness through visions and a test of wisdom. After being pronounced a new spiritual leader, he received his primary education learning all of the basic ideas and customs of Buddhism. The powerful Chinese government wanted control of the small country, so invasions erupted in several cities in Tibet. This led to the boy, at only 15 years old, gaining full power of the government under the threat of the communists. Imagine becoming the leader of a country during puberty. He tried to negotiate with several countries to help, but sadly was turned down. In 1959, the Tibetan leader was given instruction to lead the country immediately. He disguised himself as a common soldier with a small entourage, including some of his immediate family and headed for India. Thankfully, the Indian government agreed to provide asylum for the Dalai Lama and took refuge in the town of Bomdila in India. Eventually, he decided it was time to break the silence and help Tibet after many years. As stated in the official website for the 14th Dalai Lama, he improved and created departments of information, education, home, security, religious affairs, and economic affairs. Since then, he has pursued improving the state of his home country, even under Chinese governance. On March 19, 2011, in Dharmansala, India, the 14th Dalai Lama announced his retirement from a political authority. During a teaching at a Tibetan temple, he explained how the retirement from political authority was because he was trying to strive for a government with democracy rather than being led by one ruler, which is what the current state was. He compared how India's stable democracy was favorable over the tyrannical rule of China. Although he understood the concerns of the Tibetan people who relied on him, he emphasized that he would continue to be the people's spiritual leader. The 14th Dalai Lama proved his peaceful methods as a way to live life and conquer battles. Even through hardships of losing his people and having to leave his home country, he stayed true to his philosophies. This even led to him becoming a Nobel Peace Prize winner in 1989, acknowledging his advocation for human rights and struggle for liberation for Tibet. He lived an unforgettable life and will be recognized for his heroic acts in history books for a long time to come. Thank you so much.